I've been working this morning on some videos. Now we're heading down for some lunch at a Mexican restaurant and it is a glorious, glorious day again. It's good after all that rain the other day. It's some sunshine. When he said it comes with chips, he literally meant potato chips. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm, I was I'm, like I'm expecting just chips, not crisps. <laughs> that looks oh, well. like a good burger. Yeah, it does look like a good burger, doesn't it? You little bit of gel. A little bit, but we'll see how it goes. Second course, don't know what this is. What is it, Dave? I don't know. Is that bacon? Mm hmm. That was a delicious lunch. Now we're strolling back to the house for a little bit. We're going to chill. Today's another chill day. I think this is the last night we've got staying in the house. I've really enjoyed staying in this kind of really interesting neighborhood. I think it's so easy to get used to the luxury and the niceness of LA or like hotels or whatever it is. But there's something, there's so much character in like these kind of places and like, I don't know, I just love the uniqueness and the cool little quirky things and like half the buildings falling down and stuff and this is cool, this is really cool. It doesn't even remind me of America or anything, this is like, I don't know, it's like, it's some of the developing countries I've been to around the world, it's kind of, it's so run down. So we're just popping out for dinner to a Mexican restaurant called Juan in a Million. Oh, what's happened, Dave? Juan, no Juan. It's not. Why? Why? There's no Juan in. Juan in a Million. That's a great joke. That's a great joke. No, you missed it. I missed it. That is very no Juan in. Okay, we found another Mexican restaurant. This will do. Dave's a bit scared. Dave, this. What's good about this restaurant? It's very authentically Mexican. It's like, you know it's going to be good if it's full of Mexican <laughs> This is the most legit Mexican restaurant I've ever been to. Like, when she came to take a drink order, she spoke to us in Spanish. So it turns out we we didn't actually go out in the end, we were going to go somewhere but um, everyone was tired and I had a lot of editing to do. Now these days are difficult to vlog because I've literally been sitting inside most of the day editing videos. But when those videos are done, it'll be more fun for you guys to watch so it's better in the long run. I don't know where I'm staying tomorrow night yet. And I don't really know what I'm doing from now until playlist. I don't know how I'm getting there. So if there's any offers, people driving from Austin, Texas to Florida. Where is it in Florida? Orlando. Let me know. Um, if not, I'm probably going to be hitchhiking just for, just for a laugh. So it'll be fun. So tomorrow, which is Wednesday, I'm going to be driving down to San Antonio. And I'm being interviewed by a guy called Ricardo on an internet radio thing. I don't really know what's going to happen, but that's about 1 p.m. whatever time zone I'm in. I have no idea. But that'll be fun. So tune in. I'll, I'll link in the description um, to that interview so you guys can come and listen live. Oh, so that's the end of the day. I'm going to go to bed. It's like 4 a.m. Um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.